What up YouTube, this is SuperCharged.OS and this is an unboxing and first look at the Matrix Quad Core ARM Mini PC. Now this device is completely open source. It has a free scale quad core processor which means that you can pretty much do anything you want with it. You can also switch between Linux and Android in just a few minutes. So this device is packed full of features. It has 2 gigs of RAM and 16 gigs of internal storage. So let's unbox this device and get it hooked up and check it out. And here it is. I'll hold it real close so you can get a good look at it. See it's got the fan and the ventilation holes on top and bottom to keep it nice and cool while it's working. And right here on this side you have the OTG port for flashing software onto the device. The UART connection. And right here is a mini PCI input and volume up and down buttons. There you go, you can see that. And the power button. On this side is the back. You have the HDMI output, Ethernet port, another USB port, and the power optical audio and standard definition audio. This side you have a standard size SD card slot and two USB 2.0 ports. So you can do a lot with this device. There's a bunch of different connections and a bunch of different ways it can be used. Let's see what else comes in the box. And this is going to be the power cable for power on the device. And this is the RS232 cable, which you use to connect it from the serial port to other devices. And here's a detailed overview of the device. So I know it's kind of hard to see the writing and each one of the inputs on the device since it's clear. So I just thought I'd show you a quick overview of the exact specifications of the device. One of the more notable features is this burn boot mode button. So that's really useful. It switches the mode of the device. So a couple of things that you'll definitely need that aren't included are mouse and keyboard combo, and you'll also need an HDMI cable to connect it to your HDTV. To connect the Matrix ARM Mini PC, all you have to do is insert the power cable to the power output and the HDMI cable, which isn't included, into the HDMI output and into your television. And a quick tip, whenever you're powering on the Matrix, you want to insert the USB dongle for your keyboard first and then power it on after. And this is what will happen the first time you power it up. It's going to go straight into XBMC unless whenever it's first booting up, you press any key on the keyboard. As you'll see, it says on the screen at the very bottom, just press any key to go into the configuration mode. That way you can change the settings or do whatever configuring you want to do. Now you can use this device specifically for XBMC and nothing else if you choose to, but this device is capable of running a few different OS's. So you can run Android, Linux, Ubuntu. You can do a bunch of different things with it. So I'll put links in the description so that you can go ahead and download whatever operating system you want to install on this device or also in case you want to have access to the forums that way you can learn how to configure this device in a bunch of different ways I'll put links to that as well alright this is supercharged iOS I'd like to thank tbsdtv.com for sending me the matrix if you're interested in purchasing the matrix there'll be links in the description and I'll also put links to the Android firmware for the matrix and the configuration tools that you'll need to download to configure this device and I'll also put links to the forums so that you can learn how to configure the Matrix. I hope you guys enjoyed this unboxing and first look at the Matrix Freescale ARM Mini PC. If you did, please click the like button. Also like my page at facebook.com forward slash charge.os. Follow me at twitter.com forward slash charge.os. And also check out my new blog at supercharge.os.blogspot.com. Thanks for watching. See you guys in the next video. Peace.